Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you are doing well this morning. Um, I'm going to share a book today called Caterpillars and Butterflies. And we've been talking about text features, and this book has wonderful text features. It's a smaller book, and so that's why I'm shooting the video facing the book, not me, so that you can see all the great text features and we can talk about them. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, this is a beautiful picture. And so I wanna make sure we get all the great pictures and everything and have a chance to talk about them. So I'm gonna shoot the um, story this way today. I hope you don't mind. Caterpillars and butterflies. Look at that beautiful photograph. Here is our um, table of contents. And look at all of this great information in here. There's amazing insects, tiny eggs, hatching out, lots of legs, stay away, big eaters, time to change a new body, up and away. What is a moth? Feeding, vanishing act, showing off, big and small. There's a glossary of butterfly words. There's a website to visit and an index. So there's already on the table of contents, there's some, giving us some clues that there are some great um, text features as well. Here's our heading on this first page. It's called Amazing Insects. Butterflies are flying insects with beautiful wings. They begin life as caterpillars. This is a peacock butterfly. The spots on its wings look like the marks on a peacock's tail. Here's another heading. Look at this. Remember we were talking about those eggs, how small they are, and their eggs on the leaf? Um, these are a real close-up picture of eggs. And then we have different types. So there's all kinds of different ways of showing what the eggs look like here. Butterflies lay eggs on leaves and twigs. The eggs are sticky so they don't fall off. Some butterflies lay more than thousands of eggs in a few weeks. Many eggs have a thick, rough covering. A caterpillar is growing inside each egg. They will be ready to hatch in a few days. Butterfly eggs come in different shapes. Some eggs look like round pearls, other eggs are long and thick, thin, and a few hang like beads on a string. Did you know there are all those different kinds of um, butterfly eggs? Hatching out, look at that close up. That is so cool. A caterpillar bites a hole in its egg and wiggles out. The cabbage white caterpillar is hatching, and you can see other tiny caterpillars still inside their eggs. First, the caterpillar eats its egg. This gives it energy. It is still hungry, so the egg, it eats the leaf the egg was on. Then it moves to eat more leaves from the same plant. Caterpillars have strong jaws. They can munch through a leaf in seconds. They must be really hungry, too. Lots of legs. A caterpillars have 16 legs. This is an emperor gum moth caterpillar. The front six legs are stiff and pointed for grabbing food. The other legs are fatter. They have suckers for clinging onto stalks and twigs. Some caterpillars move along in big loops. The front part of the body stretches out, then the back part lifts up and moves up to meet the front. So it wiggles about as it moves. Stay away. Birds and insects like to eat caterpillars. Many caterpillars have patterns on their body to help them hide. This geometrid moth caterpillars looks like the twig this is actually the caterpillar. Doesn't that look like the twig? Some caterpillars have a horrible smell that keeps other animals away. And many caterpillars try to look scary to frighten the enemies. A puss moth caterpillar rear up to look big and fierce. Sweet oil caterpillars eat poisonous plants and this makes them taste bad to birds. Hmm. Big eaters. 
Caterpillars eat all the time. They find a plant they like and eat until it is all gone. These caterpillars are called large whites. They only like to eat cabbage leaves. Caterpillars soon grow so fat that their skin is too tight and starts to split. They wiggle out of the old skin and underneath this is a new stretchy skin. This swallowtail caterpillar has a brand new skin and it leaves behind the old skin. Most chat caterpillars change their skin four times. Each time the patterns are more interesting. And we call this leaving behind, we call that molting and they'll do that um, up to four times. Okay, so a few of you guessed in when I posted about our um, caterpillars that they were getting ready to get into the um, pupa, but they're not quite ready yet, and this, will, and this will tell you why. Time to change. Soon caterpillars are ready to turn into butterflies. First, a caterpillar finds a safe, sheltered place. It hangs upside down using hooks on its body. Its skin splits and falls off. Underneath is a new skin. The skin gets harder and harder until it looks like a case. The hard case is called the pupa or chrysalis. The pupa hangs without moving for weeks inside the butterfly is growing. Some caterpillars hide inside a rolled up leaf before they turn into a pupa. Huh, I didn't know that. So we have a heading here. We have some um, close-ups on this page. A new body. When the butterflies are fully grown, they are ready to break out of their pupa. You can see this butterfly's wings inside the pupa. A butterfly slowly pushes itself out of its pupa. Then it stops to rest. Its wings are pale and damp and crumpled. Butterflies have to let their wings dry out before they can fly. This monarch butterfly must wait a few hours for its wing to spread and to get stiffer. Butterflies don't grow after they have hatched. They stay the same size all of their lives. So they do all of their growing to get to this point and then they don't grow anymore. Up, up and away. Butterflies are always moving around. They never stay still for long. All butterflies have four big wide wings. They flap all four wings together. The wings are covered in tiny scales. You can see them under a microscope. Some butterflies flap their wings 70 times every second. Wow, that's a lot. Now, this is called... Um, so we've turned from butterflies to moths, and sometimes we get them confused, but they are different. A moth looks a lot like a butterfly, but it's not quite the same. This emperor moth has smaller, narrower wings than a butterfly. Hawk moths can fly much faster than you can run. Most moths fly at night when there are not so many enemies around. And this is a Madagascar a Madagascan moon moth. Moths have fat, furry bodies to keep them warm on cold nights, and they have feathery feelers that sense objects in the dark. You can see those feathery feelers up there. Feeding. Butterflies and moths feed on juices from flowers or fruit. Instead of a mouth, they have a long, thin tube called a proboscis. They drink through it like a straw. Asian vampire moths can prick an animal's skin and drink its blood. The proboscis is usually curled up. It uncurls when the butterfly drinks. And when the butterflies are thirsty, they often suck up drops of water from the damp ground. Vanishing Act. 
A lot of animals like to eat butterflies. Some butterflies have patterns that help them hide. If this leaf butterfly keeps still, enemies think it's just a leaf. Glass wing butterflies have see-through wings which make them hard to spot. This hair streak butterfly is easy to see as it flies. Its wings are green underneath so it can hide when it lands. And this orange tip butterfly looks like the flowers that it feeds on. So they are very good at camouflaging themselves. Showing off. Some butterflies are poisonous, so they don't need to hide from their enemies. Bright markings on this swallowtail butterfly warn animals that it tastes bad. Some animals have big spots like eyes on their wings to make them look scary. These butterflies both look poisonous to animals, but the one on the left is harmless. It copies the poisonous butterfly's patterns. This moth has a fat body and small wings. Enemies think it is a bee and leave it alone. Big and small. Butterflies and moths come in all shapes and sizes. The atlas moth are the biggest moths in the world. Each of their wings is wider than this page of the book. And that's pretty wide because this, this book is very is pretty small for a book, but that would be a pretty big butterfly, guys. The smallest butterfly is called the pygmy blue. And this is its real size. Look how tiny that guy is. It's almost as big as my fingernail is. 